I have not seen a Pokemon card craze like this since the 90s. I figured since Black Friday is officially over, I would go to the store and see what the Pokemon card section aftermath looks like. First and foremost, it's snowing for the very first time this season, and I do not like snow. Now, Walmart ended up being my first stop, and I headed back to the toy section, and as you can see, there is absolutely no Pokemon cards back here in this section. At the very top, underneath the shelf, on the shelf itself, absolutely nothing. And then I headed to the front of the store where the big Pokemon card section is, well, is supposed to be, and there was legit, and I mean legit, zero Pokemon cards on the shelf. Not a theme deck, not a tin, not a single booster pack, not a collection box absolutely no Pokemon cards on the shelf. And like I said at the very beginning of this video, I have never seen an instance since the 90s where there has legit never been a single Pokemon card on the shelf. I figured, hey, maybe it's just Walmart. So I headed over to GameStop and over at GameStop, it was pretty much the same situation. Just about two or three theme decks left on the shelf. That was all. So I said, let's try a third retail store. So we headed over to a store called Meyer, and typically with Meyer, we tend to have better luck finding more stuff. However, they are just a little bit more on the pricier side. But we walked into the store and lo and behold, right there, we did find some Pokemon cards, but honestly, this is pretty low stock even for Meyer. They had a few Detective Pikachu boxes, the Umbreon Espeon tag team boxes, and that right there was pretty much all they had as well. I mean, you can even see with this store, they started putting some board games in the section to make it look not so empty. And to be honest, I have never seen an aftermath like this. This is pretty crazy. What is up, my breaking family? Send it some positive vibes in your direction. I know the question you're probably asking yourself right now, since you couldn't find any Pokemon cards, what Pokemon cards are you going to open up today? Well, luckily, I tend to stock up on Pokemon cards, not as of late, but I've always kind of stocked up on Pokemon cards. So we do have a good wide variety of Pokemon cards to open up in today's Pokemon opening. A lot of what I have is pre-order stuff and I make sure that I order a good amount just so we always kind of have something to open up here on the channel, especially if we face a situation like we saw today, the aftermath of Black Friday where there is just legit no Pokemon cards on the shelf. I mean, Walmart, for instance, no Pokemon cards at all. So let's go ahead and jump into today's Pokemon opening and we'll talk a little bit more about this as we go through today's opening. So we are right here, we do have a Champion's Path Double V box. We're gonna open up a wide variety today. So if you like seeing a lot of different Pokemon cards opened up, then you're gonna love today's video. We have a Unified Minds three pack, a Cosmic Eclipse three pack, and a Burning Shadows three pack a Vivid Voltage Build in Battle box, possibly, maybe a Charizard inside of that, a Champion's Path pin collection, we have some Darkness Ablaze booster packs, and a Hidden Fates Pokemon card 10. And you know what? Let's go ahead and start off with the Hidden Fates Pokemon card 10. Typically, I would wait till the very end of the video to open this up, but you know what? I want to open up some Hidden Fates and I don't want to wait till the end. So let's go ahead and start off with Hidden Fates. And as I'm opening this up, please make sure you hit the like button, the thumbs up on this video. I would definitely appreciate it. It's a great way to show your support. Share out this video if you possibly can. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Become part of the Breaking Family, a positive community where everybody is welcome and nobody is judged. No drama here. We're just here to have a good time and enjoy some Pokemon. So hit that subscribe button on the road to 600 thousand. We're going to have to do a nice uh, celebration video here soon. So right here we do have a Gyarados GX10, one of every single pack artwork. Let's go ahead and start off with the Charizard pack artwork. Now, I have this theory that the Charizard is never, is never in the Charizard pack artwork. Now, I know that's not completely correct, but it just makes sense in my mind, okay? Don't judge me. Star you, Voltorb, Pikachu, Jigglypuff. Now, per the rule, if there is a Jigglypuff in the pack with a shiny Pokemon card, we have to sing the Jigglypuff song. I don't make the rules. That's just, that's the law. Pokemon Center Lady, Metapod Pod, Blaine's Last Stand, going into an Evolution Jolteon. There's the code card right there. I show the code cards in every single video. So if you enjoy the Pokemon TCGO, whether you like to play competitively on there or you just like to simply open up booster packs, nothing wrong with that. You know you can always come here to this channel, grab yourself a code card 
for the Pokemon TCGO. Hit that notification bell icon. I upload four to five times every single week. Hundred. I have no idea why I threw that. <laughs> I typically throw the birds and energies, but Ekans, I have no idea why I threw that. Um, I upload four, that really threw me off right there. Uh, I upload four to five times every single week. There's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of Pokemon opening videos here on this channel. I've been doing YouTube since 2014, so you can imagine what kind of crazy stuff is here on this channel. Uh, especially if you go back even like last year and you go to like especially the uh, the hidden Pokemon card videos and you can see what the stock was on the shelf then. I mean, absolutely crazy. It's like night and day between last year and this year. It really is. Energy, Pokemon, uh, everybody is, is loving Pokemon and that's awesome. The community is growing and I love to see the community grow. A lot of people are rediscovering their love of Pokemon, how much it made them happy. And I am so, so glad to hear that. If you have a story kind of like that where you're uh, now rediscovering Pokemon, um, please let me know in the comment section down below. I would love, love to hear your story. Caterpie, Paris waving high. Will you wave back high to Paris? Slowpoke, Psyduck, the best Pokemon in the entire world. Don't argue with me in the comments because we all know Psyduck is the best Pokemon in the entire world. It gets its own little section. Energy, Misty's Gym, Brock's Gym, Metapod Pod, going into a shiny Zerkatry. How you doing, shiny Zerkatry? and a wheezing, but there we go. Shiny Pokemon already starting off with a shiny Pokemon today. Let me go ahead and grab a sleeve and we will sleeve that up. Here we go. Whoop. And I know I better sleeve up the Gyarados before somebody yells at me in the comments. I know somebody's already commented saying, hey, sleeve up the Gyarados. Well, there we go. I sleeved it up. Calm down. It's okay. We got it. We got it. Psyduck. Okay. Let's go ahead and jump into, we just did Hidden Fates. We'll save Champion's Path. Let's go into Burning Shadows. A chance at a Rainbow Rare Charizard GX. We pulled one a couple months ago from a Burning Shadows three pack from Burlington, not Burlington Coat Factory, formerly known as Burlington Coat Factory. But we did actually pull one here on the channel. There we go. There is the coin and our three booster packs. And once again, the code card that will unlock that promo. All right. There is the pack artwork for all of them. Let's go into Mars Shadow. But like I was saying, I know this, it's, it's kind of frustrating. I understand that it's hard to find Pokemon cards, but I can, I can say rest assured that the Pokemon Company is definitely doing everything they possibly can. I don't have any insider information. I just, I am just purely going off of what what I believe, and uh, I believe that the Pokemon Company is 100%. Fly away, bird, fly away. Uh, that the Pokemon Company Energy is doing absolutely everything they can to make sure Pokemon cards are being printed and getting out to stores as fast as possible. Uh, you know, they def they're always a Tangrowth. Always in a Burning Shadows 3-pack every single time. I have no idea what's up with that. Um, but, you know, they want to make sure that, you know, if people, if, if there is a demand for Pokemon cards, that there is obviously Pokemon cards out there. So they're going to make sure that they keep printing a bunch of them uh, so that they can, the, the shelves can be stocked up and so that you all can grow your collection and uh, literally collect them all. Got to catch them all, right? Horsey. Uh, Sneasel, Achoo. so as I know it's frustrating right now, um, patience. This is a great time to practice patience, trust me. So, uh, Lunatone, Gloom, wow, my fat. Going into Alolan Ninetales, so definitely be patient, um, and, and, and just keep checking. Just keep checking, you'll eventually find Pokemon cards. I mean, I pretty much can guarantee you that stores are going to start restocking again this weekend. So uh, just because the shelves are pretty much bare right now does not mean a week from now is going to be the exact same. So kind of keep that in mind. Alolan Ratata, Magikarp, Energy, put that right over there. Gloom, Sviper, Lana, Buffalant, going into a Mudsdale for our rare. There's the code card right there. Let's go into Cosmic Eclipse, one of my favorite sets. And as I'm opening this up, I need you to go down to the pinned comment right now. Um, because down in that pinned comment, I'm going to ask you a very important question. And it pertains nothing to Pokemon at all. 
Uh, there's the coin too. I haven't gotten a haircut in quite some time. And I need to know, should I get a haircut? I'm kind of liking the hair long and just kind of like all messy and just kind of going every which way. I feel like it kind of matches my personality, honestly. So, um, so let me know. Comment section, uh, pinned comment. I want to ask, should I get a haircut? Let me know yes. Let me know no. You can give me a reason why, yes or no. I want to hear what you think. But I think I'm just going to leave it. I'm kind of, Like I said, I, I, I like it kind of just... Having a mind of its own, really. Ponyta, Sunkern, Cosmox, Psyduck, yes! This is a good opening. We love Psyduck, the best Pokemon in the entire world. It's been my favorite Pokemon ever since I was a little kid. All the way back into the 90s when Pokemon first came to the United States, where I'm located, and I have lived all my life. Um, so Psyduck's always been my favorite. It's never been another Pokemon. It's always been Psyduck my entire life. Psyduck just makes me laugh, makes me smile, makes me happy. And uh, that's kind of what I, I base things off of. What makes me happy? And that's what you should uh, definitely try to base things for you as well as what makes you personally happy. You know, don't let somebody else's opinion uh, persuade you to kind of change your mind. You know, go with what makes you happy and be yourself. Don't try to be like anybody else. That's boring. Be you. There's only one of you in this entire world. So might as well be yourself, right? All right, here we go. Next booster pack for Cosmic Eclipse. We have a Litleo, Flabebe, Abebe, Spiel. Spiel's having a good time. I, I am, I'm loving this Spiel because look at that. Nobody in this world right now is happier than this Spiel. Not to fly away, bird, fly away. Energy, I'll put that right back there in my filing cabinet. Vibrava, great catcher. Corellia, going into a wee vial, and that is definitely what it looks like outside right now because there is way too much snow out there. Way too much, and I'm not happy about that at all. Okay, let's go into our last three pack. Today was actually our first snow of the season, and uh, if you're anything like me, you do not like the snow at all. I do not like cold weather. I like warm, hot weather. I'd rather it be like 90 degrees outside. I just do not like the cold at all. And it, it, it makes my mood go, uh, go down. It makes it hard for me to stay positive sometimes. But I know, I know that spring, summer will eventually be right around the corner and then it'll be warm weather again. So uh, just stay, gotta stay, try my best to stay positive. So. Tinamo, Poipo, Snow Runt, Energy. We have a Dragonair, which still, to this day, one of the most beautiful Pokemon ever to exist. We have a Cherish Ball and a Honchkrow. We gotta cherish the Dragonair, that's for sure. There's the code card for that one. Of course, in Unified Minds, there is that Rainbow Rare, Mewtwo and Mew. Such an amazing tag team, to be honest with you. Love the tag team cards. Carablast, Fletchling, which is a bird. Do it with me now. Fly away, bird, fly away. We have a Pikachu, which I love that artwork as well. Hoot Hoot, which there's a Zapdos in the background, if you did not notice that. Energy, Relicanth, Blues Tactics, Lampet, going into a Jirachi GX, another ultra rare. How you doing? Welcome to uh, the party. Let me show you to the VIP section, Jirachi. I will take your coat, hang it up, and here you go. Whoop! Right up there in the VIP section. Okay, going into our last Unified Minds booster pack. We still have a good amount to open up. We still have Champions Pass. We have Vivid Voltage to open up as well. And Darkness Ablaze. That's right. Slack Off, which is a total mood. Fletchlander, fly away. I do have a slack off in my background if anybody can spot it. We have Yon Mega going into a Tapu Finny, which Tapu Finny. How you doing? Tapu Finny, welcome to the party. I'll set that right there. I'm messing everything up. All right, my brain is going crazy. There's the code card. Once again, let's go ahead and go into our Darkness Ablaze, and then we will go to Vivid Voltage and end on Champion's Path. See what we got in there. Champion's Path, definitely a difficult set to pull cards in. We have a Shelmet going into a Larvitar. Gurimer. Energy. Turbo Patch. 
And not what we were looking for. Not the droids we're looking for, but we'll take it. We'll take it. We got four Darkness Ablaze. There is a Full Art Charizard VMAX, uh, which most people would consider the chase card of the set. But there's also a lot of other beautiful cards in this set as well. Fletchling, Charizard doesn't always have to be the chase card. A chase card can be whatever you want, honestly. Energy, uh, for instance, you know, Shiny Star V, a brand new set that just came out in Japan that we've already opened up here on the channel. Last week, we opened up three booster boxes of it. A lot of people are chasing that Charizard, Shiny Charizard V and Shiny Charizard V Max in the set. But me? I want that Shiny Ditto. I want that Shiny Ditto. This set is basically Hidden Fates 2.0. It really is. It's it, the exact same format. Um, and I know a lot of people are asking, is there... Uh, is there any clarification if this set will be released outside of Japan? The Pokemon Company has not officially announced anything yet of this set being released outside of Japan. So there's no official word, so we cannot confirm if it is going to be released outside of Japan just yet. So uh, we'll wait until, until Pokemon actually says something. So, all right, next up. But if you want to go watch that video, it was uploaded last Thursday. So go and check that out. Really, really interesting set. Energy, Dedenne, beautiful Dedenne artwork. Vibrava, going into, whoo, whoo. Just a little rough on the pulls, just a little rough. I feel like we haven't pulled really any hollow rares, have we? We got one, two, two hollow rares, whoo, whoo. A little rough, a little rough, but that's okay. Let's go into Vivid Voltage next. Let's see how well Vivid Voltage ugh, treats us. Now, a lot of people are searching for that Charizard promo that comes inside of Vivid Voltage. Will there be one in here? You know what? I'd take a Lugia as well. We do love some Lugia. All right, here we go. And, and, we got a Charizard. Yes, there we go. Charizard Vivid Voltage pre-release promo. We got it. We got it, Breaking Family. Let's go ahead and open this up so I can actually give you the code card for anybody that wants it. All right, not bad at all. Now we just gotta try to uh, pull a Lugia, but there is the code card for that one. And there is the Charizard right there. I will actually go ahead and sleeve up that Charizard. Beautiful, beautiful, nice, nice. Okay, here we go. Whoop. All right, there we go. Nice, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, take a look at everything else inside of the build and battle deck. There's another Charizard, two more Charizards. We have Bay, Opal, Whooper, which is my face a lot of times, especially when I pull an Ultra Rare. That's what I look like right there. Quagsire and a Dawn fan. I will, I cannot wait. Cannot wait until we are able to start going back to pre-release tournaments. I used to do videos, going to pre-release tournaments, playing in the pre-release tournaments. I would vlog those videos, um, but obviously we haven't got to do that since Sword and Shield base set. So it's it's been a while, it's been a while. So hopefully we will get to do that next year. All the sets have officially been released for 2020. Fampy, we got a Shup It, Poochiana, Energy, put that right over there. We have Beauty, Shuckle, we love you, Shuckle. Shuckle Squad. Beauty going into a Rainbow Rare Opal. Whoo, now that is a surprise breaking family. First Rainbow Rare from the Build and Battle box. Not the first Rainbow Rare that we pulled from Vivid Voltage, but first Rainbow Rare of today's Pokemon opening, as well as this Build and Battle box. Whoop! Nice. Okay. We're definitely, we're definitely starting to get some more hits. That's for sure. Pretty good build and battle, right? We got Charizard as our promo. We already have one Rainbow Rare. So if we don't pull anything else, that's perfectly okay. I'm already happy with everything that we've gotten from it. Energy, I'll put that right back there. Mag Cargo, Drone Rotom. And I find it really interesting that Pokemon takes a lot of trends in current modern day world and they kind of add them to the Pokemon world. Like drones, drones are really popular and then kind of add them into the Pokemon world. Very, very, uh, very smart thinking on Pokemon's part. And I like that. 
You see elements of current day trends uh, of things things happening, kind of going around in, in pop culture, kind of. Drone Rotom, you know, kind of pop culture-ish, right? No, no, not really, I guess. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, it is technology. There we go. That's the right word. Technology, not pop culture. Fly away. And then kind of adding it to the Pokemon world. And it kind of really meshes energy, both worlds together, really. Memory Capsule, Giraffe Rig, which is the same forward as it is backwards. That, my friends, is called a palindrum. Valerion and a Garbodor. Who says you can't learn anything when you come to this channel, right? We like to throw some, some education in there as well. Just sneak it right in there. Nobody notices. And then after you're done watching today's video, maybe you're on Jeopardy tomorrow. Maybe you've got to go to Jeopardy tomorrow and uh, it gets to a what? Double Jeopardy question? And they're like, hey, energy, what is a word? What is it called when a word is the same forwards as it is backwards? Well, I guess that it would be a word that is the same forwards as it is backwards. And then your reply would be, what is? A palindrome. You would know. Hey, I saw that on Real Breaking Nate's channel. Zarud V, another ultra rare. So you're welcome. I just help you win double jeopardy. I just help you win it. So uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. You don't have to share any of that money with me. Keep it all for yourself. Buy yourself something nice. Is that it? <laughs> I was like, where'd the Vivid Voltage go? But that was the last card from Vivid Voltage. Okay, let's go into it. Champion's Path. I got too busy thinking about Jeopardy and Double Jeopardy and how I just help you... And how I just helped you win Double Jeopardy. Put that all back there. Like I said, you don't have to share any of that with me. That's fine. That's fine. Keep it all for yourself. Like I said, buy yourself something nice. There we go. There's the pin. Maybe buy your sibling. Something nice, your partner something nice. Show somebody else some love, some happiness. Put some, some positivity out there in the world. Champions Path. We have Inke going into a Kakuna Matata, Volpix, Energy, Team Yell Grunt. I won't yell, I promise. Rotom Bike, Potion. Oh, please be a Machamp. Please, please be a Machamp. Ugh, <laughs> Lycanroc. We, all we ask for is a Machamp. We don't even ask for a Charizard. I'm a champ. If I pull a Charizard, I won't be happy about it at all. We want Machamps. All right, here we go. Carvana. Ooh. Nana Ekans. Weedle. Galarian Linoon. Energy. We have Great Ball. Absol. Going into a Drenna V Max. Full art. Another beautiful card from Champion's Path. Now, that was in a pin collection. All the Champion's Path products have been released. Um, as of right now, there is no more that have officially been announced to release. Now, that doesn't mean they're not going to release stuff that they've already released. They're definitely still going to release Champion's Path products, but as far as, like, new boxes, new pin collections, there's nothing else. That's that's it for Champion's Path, as far as we know. Ekans, Weedle... But there is, there's, they are still going to put Champion's Path out onto the shelf. So um, if you have, haven't had a chance to uh, find some yet or acquire some, add it to your collection. Eldegoss V, ultra rare goodness. Don't worry, they're still going to stock Champion's Path. I mean, look at this. Hidden Fates was released in 2019, later in 2019. And they're still putting Hidden Fates out on shelves in a good amount of quantity. So as long as people still want stuff, my guess is they're still going to keep printing it because they want to make sure that people are able to enjoy the Pokemon TCG and add stuff to their collection, right? All right, Double V, which honestly, one of my favorite boxes of the year. Ah! <laughs> I just splattered water <laughs> all over the table everywhere. Uh, luckily, it did not get on anything over here. It was just kind of commons and uncommons over there. <laughs> uh, I knew one day it would happen. One day it would happen. Been uh, been uploading videos since 2014 and have never knocked over a drink here on my desk, here on the channel, and it finally happened today. So, cheers. <laughs> Okay, let's keep going. Double V, 
our last Pokemon box for today, Volpix. Now, I encourage you, Energy, to go and watch last Friday's video because today is really kind of like a sequel to last Friday's video where we went Black Friday shopping. Now, obviously, Black Friday deals started earlier in the week, so we kind of filmed that over the course of three different days earlier last week. Um, but you can kind of see what the stock looked like on the shelf then. And then with today's video, you can see what it looks like now. So if you have yet to watch that video, I will link you up at the very end of today's video. Um, I might even put a link down in the video description down below, along with my new merch that's also down there if you want to check that out. But um, this is kind of like a sequel to that video. I really thought it'd be interesting to show what the aftermath looked like um, because I've been filming, I've been filming Black Friday videos for Pokemon cards for years now. And it's something we do every single year. And I have never seen the shelves look like this after Black Friday ever, ever. There's always been stuff left on the shelves, but this year, definitely, definitely not. A lot of people enjoying Pokemon and that is great to see. Energy, Sonya, Team Yelgrunt, Galarian, Zigzagoon, and a Hollow Rare Zygarde. All right, one booster pack left. If you haven't yet hit that like button, please do so or don't. You don't have to, it's no big deal, I don't care. <laughs> you know how YouTube works, but it would definitely help out the channel. I would appreciate that a lot. All right, Double V. Are you going to surprise us with the very last booster pack or are you going to disappoint us with a Lycanroc? We'll see. Potion. Galarian Linoon going into Machop. Ekans, Energy. Put that right there. Hyper Potion. Suspicious Food Tin. Ooh, we could pull a secret rare of that. Energy. All right, there's the code card right there. And we are ending on Lucario V. I'll take it. Breaking Family, that's it for today's Pokemon opening. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Check out these videos right over here. I'll see you all in the next video. And I truly love every single one of you. Oh! all around the world. Do it with me now. Peace, love, and a high five.